I think it's really important that people donate so they can help save kids like me because every year a lot of kids die from cancer and you can help prevent that by donating. And here she is, Lauren Cunningham, here in our TV44 studio. You are 11 now, correct? Mm -hmm. And when did you turn 11? November of 2015. All right. Well, happy birthday a few Thank months you. late. So, Lauren, we just saw a video that showed us about um, the medicine you take, kind of the path that you've had to go on. Tell us how you're doing now. Now I'm back in school. Last year I wasn't in school at all. So that's a big improvement. I'm in school except for when I have to go to my monthly chemo appointments or physical therapy or some other appointment that like eye doctor, stuff like that. Um, Are you back I, to doing your activities, get to hang around with your friends? I got cleared to play soccer. I'm allowed to play soccer as long as I have something to cover my port. And I'm excited about that. <laughs> That's great. That's exciting. I'm excited about that too, to see how many things that you've gone through and to see where you are now. It's wonderful. <laughs> well, I first learned about you, Lauren, because I went to your church, Bath Community Church, and I saw a sign that said Team Lauren, just like this. And then I started seeing these shirts all over the city of Lima. How does it feel to know there are so many people that want to support you with these shirts and, and just encourage you. I like it whenever I see them. Whenever I see people, I yell out the window, hey, nice shirt. <laughs> One time we were at a gas station and this guy had a Team Lauren shirt on and I yelled it out the window to him. All right, I bet you he was excited to be able to see you too. He seemed a little shocked. <laughs> a little shocked. So, you know, people in Lima don't just know who Lauren Cunningham is, but people all across the United States do. You were the face of the Nationwide Hospital Justice Campaign. What was that all about? Um, every year they do a campaign with Justice and Brothers stores all over America. And if you, like, some, they ask you when you check out if you want to donate to Nationwide. And people donate and they made a lot of money. They did, and your face was on the uh, signs and the placards and all the justice stores all across the country. A bunch of people took pictures with them and posted them to Facebook. Wow, that is really neat. I think that Justice and Nationwide Hospital picked a very good representative for sure. <laughs> so coming up this week, there is a special blood drive in honor of you, right? Mm -hmm. Why do you think it's so important for people to be donating blood? because blood not only saved my life, but saved a lot of other people's. The first night, if I wouldn't have gotten a blood transfusion, I wouldn't be here today, mm. or I wouldn't at least be here, like, this good today. <laughs> um, I sometimes get blood transfusions to have a procedure, well, not just blood, blood products, to get a procedure, platelets, red blood cells, just anything that can really help. The blood drive is coming up Wednesday, January 13th. Mm -hmm. from, from 12 to 6 p.m. All right, and it is at the Allen County Children's Services. And you can call ahead of time or go online to schedule an appointment. Lauren, what if somebody is scared and says, I don't think I can donate blood. I'm not sure, I'm just scared. What would you say to them? You can do it, I'll hold your hand if you want me to. Uh, and it does save lives, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. That's right. So, Lauren, what are your plans now for this coming, coming year? It's January now. It's not soccer season, but you've got a lot of things to look forward to. I want to get better, obviously, but I want to um, help other people with, like, the donating blood. I want to help other people's lives, like, other people, save other people's lives. I um, want to help get bone marrow donated because there are two kids from the area that need bone marrow right now and they need to have a match to be able to be here. Well, not here, but like to be able to live. And I wanna help those people. I wanna continue to play soccer. I wanna continue to go to school and just get better. All right. You are an inspiration, Lauren. <laughs> Thank you. You know, if you want some information on um, 
the things that Lauren's talking about, the uh, bone marrow, all of those different things, you can always call us here at the TV station and we can get you connected to her people. Mm -hmm. can, uh, help you with information. If you would like a Team Lauren shirt or sweatshirt, contact us as well and we'll get you connected for that as well. All right, Andy. Thank you, Jennifer, and thank you, Lauren. Special story there.